Okay, so on the last video, part three of our grind playthrough, we just defeated the moms, and here we are going on to part four. We defeated the moms by using the finger blade and using the finger blade's special ability to take them both down simultaneously and really get through that very, very quickly. It was very effective. We're going to see how much more effective these weapons that I'm using in the residence build will go in the next area. Before we do, though, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, turn on notifications, so that way you will not miss a single upload. I do upload almost every single day, tons of single-player and co-op gameplay walkthroughs of all kinds. I love a ton of different games in general, and you'll find the occasional multiplayer stuff as well. I'm a big fan of things like Escape from Tarkov and Apex Legends. That said, before we go as well, make sure you leave a like and a comment on the video. Let me know your thoughts. What what are you going in your playthrough? Uh, what are you building? Are you doing more of a strength, a dexterity? Because, uh, you know, there's some weapons that scale really well on dexterity, like twin fangs. Other things that are more strength related, like the fossil fists and the obelisk fist. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm really curious of, as to the variety in which you guys are making your own build. So let me know. And how effective is it? Is the game more difficult for you? Is it harder? Is it easy? I'm just curious because this is my first playthrough myself of this game with this. So just trying to compare. That said, let's go ahead and get a move on. Holy, what are you? Hard but smooth one. You did it. You freed Lithic and the children of the broken sky from the mother's cruel tyranny. But now we are free again at last to seek out ascension into glorious proportionality. Oh, and look what I found. A huge follower, strong enough to work the lift to the world pillar. Told you I'd be of help. You go on ahead, I'll come with the next lift. I need to bring my offerings to the palace. I can't wait. Okay. Let us go. I like it. It's kind of ominous. And here we are. Okay. The world pillar. Oh, well, hello again. Carvin. By the sounds of the working lift coming from outside, I assume you have found your way here via brute force. Ah, poor flowers. So much wasted effort. Hmm. Anyway, Shidra of the world pillar themselves is willing to deal with you. Of all the breath's creation, they are the greatest. I feel like this guy doesn't like me very much. You get that feeling too, guys? I, I, get, I get that feeling he's not very friendly after all. All right, I don't have any points to level anything up. However, maybe we can get some traits going. No, I don't have enough of the... Uh, the things there. Never mind. Hi. Ah, there it is. I was hoping your kind could not form out of a shattered and scattered womb. Yet here you are, wearing it. No matter. As you are already here, we may as well make a deal. I am Shidra of the World Pillar, Breath Smither, Mediator, and Creator. I am Order and its Defender. And you, Aklan, in your incomplete weakened form, may not recall what your goal here is, hmm? I will help, but first, you will help me. An ancient ravenous beast roams the feaster's den. It is beyond my reach, but not yours. Destroy it, deliver me its yolk. 
In the meanwhile, as a show of goodwill, I offer you my crafting services at a cost no greater than the materials required for the process. You are welcome, Aklan. Okay. What of these crafting services, Shidra? Choose wisely. Okay, so this is where the blood, uh, the blood metal splinters come into play. Ooh. So we need more mass to make any of this work. Um, and we have two blood metal splinters already. I kind of want to level up the finger blade. But I also kind of want to level up the mall sword. We're going to go with this. Hold on. I have these things that I can use. So let's use them. Yeah, let's go with the finger blade. Okay, two more and 470 mass to level it up again. We need... 740 mass and two more blood metal shards to do it again i'm not sure what the cap is but it's figure plate plus two this is really cool i had no idea that the game was going to have a level up system like this 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 kind of makes me really excited let's check out the scaling differences man you really don't get much scaling on some of these weapons here okay let me uh let me see here I don't know if this plus one means that it goes up a tier or if it's just plus one on the scaling value. Say it's still, say if C gives it three extra damage on the attack based, you know, uh, just for example, say that it gives C value gives three extra attack per strength. So is it three plus one? And then the resonance would be a bit plus three based on how much, rev, re, you know, resonance I have. I don't really know. I don't really get it. But all I know is more damage incoming. So that's fine. That's fine with me. Now, it wants me to go all the way back here for a thing, I guess. But I see no way to go down further than what was here, so maybe we have to go down here where I am now. Hey there. Yeah. Carvin Envoy. I don't know which audacious deserter sculpted you under the broken sky, but that rubble will be made into bricks when we find it. Oh. <laughs> As will you, should you step onto the servant's path ahead unwelcome. <laughs> Stay here under the broken sky where you belong, counterfeit. That's rude. And you? You, how dare you wear that form? You have not earned it. No service, no humility. These proportions are, require sacrifice. You pathetic creature, how disgusting your first form must have been that a deserter was forced to correct it. I'm not well liked around these parts, guys. Um, it said I was going to get punished if I went this way. I'm curious what happens. Hey. Glorious Carvin, please tell me, tell them to let me back in. I can't get any new material with the garden monsters guarding the broken sky. What am I supposed to do? It has been so long since I last walked the path. Okay, before we go further this way, I want to go back and go underneath that little path that we saw down. Yes, very good. 
Oh, map reveal time. We got the beacon. Almost called it an obelisk. Map info updated. Okay. Not, <laughs> not a lot of update action here. So that's where we were, and then we defeated the moms. I don't even know where I am anymore. I don't even know where I am anymore, man. You look scary. Are you an enemy? No? Greetings, Aklan. I am of the assistance. To my right is the World Pillar Nerve Pass. The other nerve passes connected to this one have been blocked. To make use of it and gain passage, you must rid them of their turned sentries. Reconnecting the paths would be to your benefits. I'm assuming this is a fast travel system then? Okay, so there is a person that commented on part one asking if there was a fast travel system. If you are here still watching these videos, the answer is yes. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, it, it mentioned other nerve passes throughout the uh, throughout the world pillar here, or the world in general. So I'm assuming that's what that would be. That's what makes sense to me here. Pillar fragment. Are you evil? No. I'm always concerned if they're evil. Greetings, Aklan. I am of the assistance. To fulfill your task and hunt down the feaster, proceed to the left. Be aware, the lower elevator of the world pillar below refuses to be summoned. Getting it running again would be to would be to your benefit. Okay. Good talk. So you're saying I don't want to drop down there. Is that what you're saying? I don't see any thing I can grab onto or anything like that. So we're just not going to hop down there. Oh, after we defeated mother as well, we got this new ability to pull things. It actually makes me stop in midair for a second too. Curious. Well, that doesn't look friendly. Nerve roots. Okay. Look at that. Upgrade material. This area is something. Nerve endings everywhere. Oh, what the heck? Hold on, is there anything to cool down here? Yeah, there's an item there. Something just hit me. Yeah. Charcoal roots. That thing all the way back there is still like sending roots at me of some kind. Don't appreciate it. Hey, dude. Ow. All right, creep one of seven. Two of seven. Charcoal roots. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Uh. When did I change weapons? <laughs> I don't recall changing my weapons out there. Where am I? Hey, Shidra. How you doing? Something tells me we'll end up fighting Shidra later on. Based on the conversation we had. 
She doesn't seem like a very nice person. They were very apprehensive of me even being here. Hey, dude. wonder if there is a way to get up there from up above real quick because we passed by to a certain point where we can't really get there anymore um in the nerve the nerve root area all right nothing there i didn't see anything up here either All right, so I'm assuming not. Oops. I guess we'll have to figure it out later. Oh, I don't need to go up there. We already got that. There's the thing that's sending the roots at me. Don't appreciate that thing. Four out of seven on that. Oof. Ah. That made me super jump. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that thing is above me here. Maybe we can kill it here. Oh my god. The damage. No. Ow. Jeez. I kind of panicked there. I was so focused on just like not getting hit that I was just panic dodging ridiculously. It's like the story of my life playing this type of game. I just start panic dodging like crazy, even though I, I know it's not a good idea. But we know how to uh, get to that thing. And then from there, we can take it out. It does have a bunch of health. So there's that as far as problems go. But at least we know right where it is, how to get to it. We can take it out. Okay, so you can't dodge through those. Oh my god. Unlucky. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Now that I've lost all of my health and my healing already. Unreal.
This area is a bit of a pain. I just need to not use my healing so early. Again, if that enemy wasn't sending those roots at me to damage me constantly, it wouldn't be nearly an issue. That's why it's important to take it out because it looks like it has a very far range and it's just going to harass me the entire time. So I kind of feel compelled that... Like, I feel compelled that I have to take it out. Not to mention it might have like a... The hunting points, whatever they're called. Okay, here we go. All right. Prey hunt complete. We just straight up kill these guys. Ooh. I just want to get up here and fight this thing. Nice. That was great. Ah, oh, I got to time that better. No? There it is. Prey hunt complete first. Very nice. Very nice. And what are these pillar fragments doing for me? Can be crushed to invigorate the vessel. Immediately restores all force. That is huge and I didn't realize that existed. Okay. Very glad that we took that thing out. Ah. It read me like a book. I'm curious what we can uh, learn from that prey specifically. We've got two things we can learn now, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Ooh, don't hurt me. Fingerblade comes in clutch in those those situations there. No. Go on then. Ah, dude. All that for two vol volatile blobs. That sucks. Is that thing flying? What did I just witness? I'm falling to my death. Cool. Well, I have no health left, and that thing is flying over there, so that's scary. Are you evil? You are. Sweet. I tried to, uh, it glows yellow. What does that mean? Can we not do the, uh, the soul, soul drain there? I suppose not, huh?
we can cap off this level real quick while we're here. Pop another point into resonance. Keep our scaling damage going up. I think maybe when we get it to like 10 or so, we'll start pumping some more points into our health and force from there. So I don't know if we're going to find anything that's going to benefit us from continually scaling it up. I mean, we'll keep doing more damage, but... That's not everything when it comes to a game like this, because obviously we got to survive too. Oh, I never checked what the uh, things would be from uh, the tactics, the prey hunts. That thing didn't respond, so that's a huge benefit though. I rather enjoy that fact. Wait, what? Ow. All right. How is that not hitting the soul? There it is. New prey found. So it looks like we can uh, hit him with that. It's just very weird because they glow yellow at first. I don't know if it's just signaling me that they're about to attack from above or something or what, but it was just very misleading. I guess we could try again here, but... Oh, we can get it. Okay. Piercer. All right. Never thought. What does charcoal root do for us? Can be used to infuse a weapon with sear. Increases weapon damage by 15% for a duration. So it's kind of like uh, the papers in Dark Souls. And Bloodborne. That's kind of cool. Here, right, hold on. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything back this way. What's this? Blood metal shard. Okay. And down below. It won't let me see anything down below. I don't want to drop without knowledge of what's there. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, then. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> that thing is big and will probably one-shot me, so let's heal up, I guess. Oh, that hit me. Lame. Oh, no. Well, that was a lot of pain. Not sure why I 
thought that he wouldn't do damage behind him with that pull attack, but here we are. I'm pretty sure at least every enemy at some point in this area has killed me at least once at this point, you know? That's the thing that's happening. I guess it's all about the, uh... Oh, what's, what's the word? It's all about the, uh... I'm blanking out on words. Forgive me. I've been up for almost 24 hours now. <laughs> it's all about the learning experience. It's what we learn along the way. Yes. It's all about the journey. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm just going to skip you, bud. Just going to skip on by. Don't mind me. I will say that uh, that dodge, the fact that uh, my shadow can damage them has made those guys very, very... Oof. A lot easier than if I didn't have that. Well, you seem pleasant. I'm very happy that this is happening. Yes. Come on, then. Oh. There you go. thing up there something blue glowing up there I have no way to get to it didn't really intend to go this way either but here we are oh my god go Don't zap me, huh? Oh! Why did my character just go for it? What the heck? I didn't push down that much. Rude. What in the hell are you? Raw blade? What? Okay, what is raw blade? We need 16 dexterity for it. Holy crap. Okay, so when I said that I thought there wouldn't be anything that scales in the, the double digits, I was very wrong. Raw blade needs 16 dexterity. Its thrust can be held to charge it with lightning dashing forward and through prey. That's kind of cool. Now, what of this thing above me? Ow. Okay, that hurts. Okay. 
I don't know that I can actually do anything to it. I guess we just go. Man, I kind of wish we were working on dexterity if we're going to find stuff like that, but I imagine if we find that, we'll find something very cool for resonance later on. All right, don't kill me, man. There you go. There you go. Very good. Ugh. Prey hunt complete. Oh, one of these things. Not cool, man. Not cool. This is a bit of a dead end, though. Alright, so we need to find some healing stuff here. Some pillar fragments. All right, here's one of these things. Look, no, nah, it's not quite the same as the one that was up above. Not quite the same. All right, this thing is after me now. Are you guys friends? Path servants. No, no. Those would be impossible to unravel. Tear off the dry, thin roots. They make the best threads. It won't be much longer before I am taken to the palace, and if you're going to replace me, you need to do this right. Why would I want to replace you? I'm going to be a sculptor, not a stitcher. You are what the Carvin want you to be, and right now they need more stitchers. Ridiculous. Form sculpting is of much greater significance. Ha! As if they would let you sculpt any forms. If anything, you were to sculpt new servants or the offerings into bricks. Enough of this. Just be quiet and let me work, you crud. Well, they seem like they're getting along just, just great. Okay, that thing is going to one-shot me when I get up there. But I think I need to do the super jump here. Yeah. Hey, bud. Oof. Oh, the reach on that. Unbelievable, dude. Ah! I was not expecting it to go that far. We need to find another one of these uh, head things so we don't have to keep going all the way back. We're actually doing okay against it in general. Just was not expecting the reach on that, uh, the tail there. I was doing it right. I was luring out its little ground attack and then re-jumping in, doing a couple hits, and then backing out. Alright. Still can't believe it. 16 dexterity weapon. You'd have to be building completely dexterity at this point in time to make that happen. Completely. Leave me alone. Didn't we fall off that to get down there before? I think we did. 
Oh, that's not good. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good after all. Oh, I remember this big guy here too. Hey. I wasn't sure if we could use the soul drain on that guy or not, so we just went for the kill. Hollow root hands. All right. Can we, oh, we can pull these things. What did that do for me? Oh, dude, that means the other one up top I might be able to pull as well. Oh, shoot. I didn't even think about that, guys. I didn't even consider that. There's you. We got up top by going this way. So let's try that again. I want to see if we can pull that thing. Oh, okay. We made it. It's fine. <laughs> Apparently, as long as we get our feet on the ground, it counts. Uh, okay. I guess we are not grabbing the things that we're jumping on now. Oh my god. Take it slow. Alright, let's try this. What the heck just... Oh, it short-circuited all of those. So it looks like it was powering those things. Gotcha. Well, that's kind of cool. See you later. I'm leaving this spot. No need to fight you. Been there, done that. Oh. That was almost bad. There you go. <laughs> All right. We went the other way before, so let's continue looking that way. I don't want to, like, start exploring a whole new area here. Ow, you son of a... Okay, I forgot that's a dead end. We can actually heal off that. That's huge. Thank you. 
Okay, that didn't turn out so bad. What do you want? So I guess I shouldn't have jumped over that. Turned out okay. I don't know if there's anything else over there, so let's go check it out. There you go. That's for you, bud. There's these guys here. Just want to be sure that I'm not missing anything up here, you know? I can do it that way too. There's something right there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ow. Not seeing anything else up here, though. I do see an opening right here of some kind. But no way to get in there, however. Hmm. Ouch. Jeez, that fall damage. Oh, we get but we better heal real quick. Okay, there is something all the way up there on the top right. Maybe we have to like super launch ourselves up there somehow. Mm. No, I don't think we really can. No, I, I think that's about the extent of what we can get. It's about the same every time, no matter when we do our jump. Unless there's something straight above me there. That was a pretty good one. Oh. <laughs> Followed up by the worst one yet. Yeah, I don't see anything up there. I don't think we can actually get up there unless I'm just missing it big, which could be the case. I don't know. For now, we continue on. Oh, that's electricity, dude. Hey. <laughs> it's on forever, too. There's not any break in it. Level lamb dust. Have we been here yet? Negative. Holy launch. And that thing is over there. We could pull it. Get cheesed. Oh, ow, what the? Okay. Yikes. 
Let's check out this way first. I've already been here. Dude, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, well, the good news is we've, we're have we discovering a lot in this area. It seems like this area has a lot of secrets and different winding paths. It's like it doesn't take very long to get to any one spot from here. It's just how everything connects together is what is taking the majority of the time. We're making the progress we need to be making though still not sure how to get up there oh those are turned off so we're actually getting through this even faster now We can super leap forward even. Is it down here? I made a bit of a shortcut for a little bit of damage. I'm fine with that. Oh, okay. Don't, don't try to grab that. That's fine. Don't grab it. There we go. Okay, no, 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 no. What am I doing with myself? There we go. <laughs> I almost got fried by that for being a stupid. There we go. Let's get that back. All right. Hey, there's two of you here. There you go. Duh. I think we can actually get all the way up top there. Okay. So we got that thing, which will make the traveling on the way down a lot easier. We might be able to get up there. Looks like there might be something there. It fills up my energy all the way so I can heal again, too. We don't want to touch that down there. Spicy. Hello, everything. Jump out, please. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very nice. Pew. Breath do fragments. I'm noticing some of these purple lines. Usually that means there's one of the uh, things around. And there's something just over there, but this is like permanently on. We gotta figure out a way to turn that off. Maybe this way? Oh, here's this. This'll work. This'll work? Who's that guy over there? Alright, grow. Let's resonance. Actually, you know what? This level, we're going to skip resonance. Go health. There we go. And then what about these? Creep. Hitting the back of prey deals 15% more damage. And then root walker. Holding right trigger will charge to instantly heal for 150% of the original value. 
Wow. That's kind of cool. And then Piercer. Pulling an exposed enemy deals absorb damage to it. Protected segments are dealt damage. 100% benefits from resonance. Let me read that again. Pulling an exposed enemy deals absorb damage to it. Interesting. It takes three to use that, but I'm going to try this. I'm curious. And then we need two for that one. That's pretty good, too. We'll go for the uh, the, back, the back damage, though. We do a lot of that in general. So it looks like we'll be able to use pull on enemies now. That's kind of cool. What's up, buddy? That rumbling from high up above. The world pillar's lift is functional once more. This can only mean one thing. The mothers of Lithic are gone. Hmm. And just as the carven have been running out of bricks. Yeah, that was me. It was me. But all right, guys, this is, we just made it to another one of these, uh, these heads here. So we're going to go ahead and call this video an end right there. We'll pick up from here on the next one. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the channel, watching the grime videos. Don't be free to check out some more videos on the channel in the future as more games come out too. There's more games coming out this month and into the rest of the year. There's going to be a ton of indie and AAA games that I plan on covering and making full gameplay walkthroughs for. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Leave a like and a comment as well. Let me know your thoughts on the, on the videos, on the game. And I will see you guys all on the next one.